This week we begin chapter 11, which is about the passive voice. Before we begin chapter 11, the passive voice, let's do a little review. What are the three dependent clauses that we've studied? The first dependent clauses that we looked at were adverb clauses. The second dependent clauses we studied were adjective clauses. And the third dependent clauses that we just studied are noun clauses. Let's see if you can pick out the clauses, the dependent clauses in each of the following sentences. Number one, ancient Egyptians designed houses that were meant to be cool. The dependent clause in this sentence is that were meant to be cool. What kind of clause is it? It's an adjective clause. The clause describes the houses that the ancient Egyptians designed. Number two, before a proper foundation is designed, a, a soil test is done. What is the dependent clause? Before a pro proper foundation is designed. What kind of dependent clause is this? This is an adverb clause. Remember, adverb clauses can be at the beginning of a sentence or at the end of a sentence with no change in meaning. Number three, another question may be what the major issues are. The dependent clause in this sentence is what the major issues are. And this dependent clause is considered to be a noun clause. Let's begin to look at the passive voice. The passive voice may seem a little confusing at the beginning, but as we continue through the chapter, I think it will make more sense. There are two types of voices in English, active and passive. Active voice means that the subject in the sentence performs the action. In a passive sentence, the subject of the sentence receives the action of the verb. In the passive, the object of an active verb becomes the subject of the passive verb. Look at the example. Mary helped the boy. Who helped the boy? Mary. Mary is the subject and she performs the action of helping. In order to make a sentence passive in English, I take the object, the boy, and I make it the subject of my sentence. So now the passive sentence is, the boy was helped by Mary. The subject of an active verb is followed by in a passive sentence. The noun that follows by is called the agent. In the example, Mary is the agent. How is the passive formed in English? In order to form the passive, you must always use the verb to be plus the past participle. Remember, the past participle is the verb we use in the perfect tenses. For example, the past participle of eat is eaten. The past participle of take is taken. In the simple present, to form the passive, you use am, is, or are, plus the past participle. It's the verb to be that shows the verb tense. To form the simple past in the passive, you would use was or were, plus the past participle. And to use the future in the passive voice, you would use will be plus the past participle. Let's look at an example. The ball is thrown by the boy. Is thrown is in the simple present. How do I know? The verb to be is is. My past participle is thrown. In the simple past, a passive example would be the window was broken. How do I know it's past passive? The verb to be is in the simple past was, and I have the past participle broken. The third example for the simple future is the test will be taken online. 
will be shows me that I'm using the simple future. Taken shows me that I'm using the passive. In all three of these examples, the subjects, ball, window, test, do not perform the action. That is why these sentences are considered passive. It's important to note one thing about the passive voice. Only transitive verbs, verbs that can be followed by an object, are used in the passive. This makes sense because it's the object of active sentences that become the subject of passive sentences. It is not possible to use intransitive verbs in the passive voice. What are intransitive verbs? Examples of intransitive verbs include happen, belong, occur. What does that mean? It means that these are verbs that are not followed by an object. A noun does not come next to these verbs. For more information, look in your textbooks on page 452.